when creating classic pixel art, only the exact colors in the color palette can be used, so it's important to learn how to customize your palette for your art. Lift click on any color to select it. You can then change that color by using the RGB sliders under the color indices. By clicking the second tab above the sliders, you can change the sliders to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness instead of RGB. For a more visual way to choose colors, you can double-click any color index to bring up a color picking window with a visual region for controlling saturation and value. The sliders can be changed between RGB and HSB in this window as well. Just click OK when you arrive at the desired color. You can find the color index for any color used in your art by pressing the comma key or clicking the pipit icon and then left clicking on any pixel in the canvas. If you create two colors with color indices in between, you can have ProMotion automatically create an evenly divided gradient or ramp between the colors by left clicking the first color, pressing the R key and then left clicking the second color. If you do the same while in HSV mode, it will produce a gradient based on HSV instead of RGB values. If you select color indices that are more than one row apart but aligned above and below each other, then ProMotion will create a gradient through the vertical column of indices instead of horizontally. Once you've created color ranges, you might want to rearrange your color palette to keep it organized. Clicking the third tab under the color indices will bring up a set of tools for this task. First click the Move Colors icon, then click the Select Single Colors icon. Now if you left click a single color and then left click and drag it, you can move that single color to a new position. The other indices will shift position around it to make room for wherever you want to move it. While in Single Color Select mode, you can hold the Control key and click on additional colors to multi-select. When you move multi-selected colors, they will come packed together for more organized index shuffling. If you click the Select Linear Range icon and left click and drag, you can select a range of indices instead of just a single color. Now left click and drag any of the selected colors in the range and it will move the entire range wherever you drag. You can also click the Rectangular Selection icon and left click and drag to select rectangular regions of colors. This is also a fast and easy way to select vertically aligned gradients or groups of colors. Right-clicking in the color palette will bring up many options to sort or manipulate the entire palette or the currently selected indices. Instead of having the surrounded indices shift to make room for the colors you're moving, you can choose the Swap Colors tool instead. Now when you select and move colors, they will swap indices with the colors you are moving them onto. If you recall, each pixel of your art does not store its own full color data. It only has a number telling that pixel which of the color indices it uses. If you change the color in that index, all pixels that use that index instantly change to the new color. By default, ProMotion is set to instantly update all pixels that use an index whose color you've just moved to use the color index the color was just moved to. While this is typically very convenient, there are a few situations where you don't want the art to be updating along with the palette. If you need to turn this off, just click the Options icon at the top right of the Palette Editor window and turn off Apply Color Movement to Pixels. If you click on the fourth tab under the color indices, you now have a tool to tweak entire ranges of color at the same time. Left click and drag to select a range of color indices, then use the sliders to adjust the hue, saturation, value, and contrast settings of the entire range at once. This is a great way to quickly tweak the color scheme of a work of art or come up with alternate color palettes for character sprites, etc. Another great feature is the ability to easily copy exact colors or color ranges from one image or project to another. Just click the third tab above the color sliders in the color palette box. Then select the color or colors you'd like to copy. Right click and choose copy from the options that appear. Then use the projects tab or the page up or down keys to get to the second project and right click and choose Paste. This will add the new colors into the palette exactly where they were in the source palette. You might not have wanted them in that particular location, but don't worry, just left click and drag the color or colors to the desired location and you'll see the colors they have appeared to replace were intact. You can also use ProMotion to import exact colors from brushes that have their own unique palettes. Choose Colors, Import Colors from Brush, and the Import dialog appears. At the top, ProMotion tells you many important things. Required tells you how many colors the brush uses. 
Present tells you how many of those exact colors are already present in your color palette. Added tells you how many of the required colors you've added into the palette so far. And Left tells you how many colors have not yet been added that the brush needs. If you click the Auto button, Promotion will do its best to add all the required colors for you. Red dots tell you those colors are currently being used by the image you're importing the brush colors to, so you should avoid replacing them with brush colors. Green dots designate colors that exactly match colors the brush needs. By default, those colors are automatically selected to be used by the brush, but you can right-click them to prevent the brush from using that index. This is useful if you don't want the brush you're importing to use the same color indices as the background art. If you left-click on a color index, it will import one of the required colors to that index, replacing whatever color was there before. If you right-click an already assigned index, it will stop using that index for one of the required colors. While arranging your palette, it is often handy to know which of the colors are actually being used by pixels in the art. Clicking this icon here toggles indicators that mark unused color indices. The icon just to the right of it automatically selects all unused colors, which lets you easily move them all to a new location or black them out. There's a handy icon to black out colors, one to convert them to gray, and one to invert them as well. Now that you know how to create and arrange custom palettes, it's good to know that you can save palettes as their own files. Once you've created a palette you like, just choose Colors, Save, Palette from the menu. Choose the name and location and save your palette file. Similarly, you can load the palette files you've created to instantly revert back to that color palette. For your convenience, you can load palettes directly from image files as well. Use the same method, but this time choose an image file instead of a palette file. One great benefit of ProMotion's brush feature set is you can use brushes as a great alternative way of storing and organizing alternate color palettes. Click the Global tab in the brush container, grab any part of your current artwork with the Brush Grab tool, then right-click any of the empty boxes in the brush container to store the brush there. Now use the color editing tools to change your color palette. Grab a brush again and right-click in another slot in the brush container. You'll see that the brushes in the brush container don't just keep their detail, they also keep their specific color palettes. This is a great visual way of managing and previewing alternate palettes for your work. Just left-click on any brush that's stored in the container to retrieve it, then choose Colors, Get Palette from Brush from the menu to instantly update your artwork to use the palette that was stored in the brush. You can build up an entire collection of alternate palettes all conveniently kept in one tidy place, and if the art you're grabbing for the brush is well designed for the purpose, it can serve as a perfect thumbnail representing the particular color palette. You can conveniently save the entire brush container with all brushes and their palettes included by simply left-clicking the Options icon at the top right of the brush container and choosing Save As from the resulting drop-down menu. Thanks for watching.